Salut, c'est Géraldine. Bienvenue sur Comme une Française TV, Sound French, even to the French. People have asked me this question many times on Facebook and in email. Could you please recommend a few books in French? Yes, I can. And here is an episode specially dedicated to French books. These are not necessarily books that revolutionized French literature like Les Misérables or Les Essais de Montaigne, but a recommendation from a friend to a friend. Nice stories, easy to read books, or even things that moved me, like a book club. And if you don't feel like reading them in French, they will still be excellent in English and even sometimes in film if you're being lazy or you want to work on your French comprehension. I read a lot, so the choice was really hard to make. I picked books that I've read, obviously, with stories set in France and written by French authors, and in six categories. Romance. Ensemble c'est tout, Dana Gavalda. Ensemble c'est tout, Dana Gavalda. Ensemble c'est tout is an easy book to read. It's about four people a bit lost and broken, two men and women who will help each other come back to life. It's a romance, it's happy and sad, it's very touching and I have to say I cried a little. The level. The story is easy to follow, happens in the 21st century and only has four main characters. So even if you struggle with the words, you won't be lost. If you like this, read Un Secret as well, Un Secret by Philippe Grimbert. That was adapted as a movie as well. It's a complicated romance set in France during World War II. It's sad, but it's captivating. Delightful French, l'élégance du hérisson, this one. If your level of French is good enough so you can appreciate very elegant French, then read this one, l'élégance du hérisson by Muriel Barbery. Literally the style of the hedgehog. I love this kind of elegant French. L'élégance du hérisson tells the story of a grumpy janitor in concierge who isn't as stupid as everyone thinks she is. And in fact, she's very, very educated. She loves Russian literature and Japanese movie. She looks grumpy, so people leave her alone. That's a good strategy. The level of French you need to read this. The words are carefully chosen and you might have difficulty grasping a few of them. But if you like, try and go ahead. It's a short book anyway. You see, it's not very big. If you like this one, read La Première Gorgée de Bière et Autres Plaisirs Minuscules by Philippe Delerme. La Première Gorgée de Bière and aut et Autres Plaisirs Minuscules by Philippe Delerme. It's a series of two-page stories about the small pleasures of life. Absurd French, L'Écume des Jours by Boris Vian. L'écume des jours by Boris Vian is this one. It's one of the must reads of French literature. I read it many, many times when I was a teenager. L'écume des jours, literally the foam of the day, was adapted as a film by Michel Gondry. But I recommend you read the book first. It's a love story between Colin and Chloé in an imaginary Paris, an absurd Paris of the 40s. Yes, it's crazy. Yes, it's sad and yes, it's hard to read because there are lots of new words, but it's so romantic and poetic and so unique. The level you need is a bit, it's a hard book because you have to understand lots of new words and lots of these words are invented and the story is absurd and it has hundreds of references to the Paris of the 40s, so it's a bit difficult. But if you like this book and have the necessary French level, read and watch videos of Pierre Desproges. Pierre Desproges as well. He's a French humorist of the 70s and 80s with a cult following like Viance. He's very famous. More recently, have a look at Stéphane de Groot's Chronicle in Voyage en Absurdi, they're really good as well. They're a bit difficult, but if you have the level of French uh, that is requested, it's really, really good. Autobiography, Les Mémoires d'une jeune fille rangée. Les Mémoires d'une jeune fille rangée. I forgot the book at home, I'm sorry. Les Mémoires d'une jeune fille rangée by Simone de Beauvoir talk about her childhood and teenage years. She's the famous French feminist friend of Jean-Paul Sartre, who also wrote Le Deuxième Sexe in the 40s. A scandal then, Le Deuxième Sexe. I discovered this book like many other French women when I was a teenager, and then I read all her autobiographical books and all her letters are really good. 
She played a huge part in my education and the decisions I took later in my life. The level. Just as in L'Elegance du Hérisson, the French is elegant and the story is addictive, so you won't be completely lost the way you could be with L'Ecume des Jours. If you like this, read Une Vie by Simone Veil. Une Vie by Simone Veil. Simone Veil was a French miniature in the 90s and she's a survivor of the camps during World War II and lived an amazing politically engaged life. She's mostly famous for La Loi Veil, La Loi Veil, the Veil law that decriminalized abortion in 1975. We celebrated the 40th anniversary of this event in January this year. What a woman! Sci-fi, Ravage de René Barjavel. This one. In French, sci-fi is called SF for science fiction. A French sci-fi book I really like is really this one, Ravage by René Barjavel. It's a dystopia published in the 40s. What happens to France when electricity disappears? Well, chaos arrives. What I like about the 40s sci-fi is that it reflects the fear of the period it was written in. The level you need to read that. Um, the French is a little bit old-fashioned, but it's mostly casual, so you can go on. If you like these kind of stories, like sci-fi and dystopia, read Malville by Robert Merle Malville. Published in the 70s, the book talks about a similar topic in a different way. It's not really sci-fi, it's more survivalism. It's how a group of people survive after a nuclear holocaust. Everything's destroyed and they're left. I love Robert Merle's work, especially the super scary La mort est mon métier. That's not for everyone. La mort est mon métier. It's very sad. So go ahead and read it. A bonus one now. La vérité sur l'affaire Henri Kéber by Joël Dicker. La vérité sur l'affaire Harry Kéber. Okay. This one doesn't happen in France. I wasn't supposed to talk about it, but it's so good I couldn't not tell you about it. My mom gave me this book and she said, Lis trois pages et essaye de le refermer. Lis trois pages et essaye de le refermer. Read three pages and try to put it down. I tried, but I couldn't stop reading. It's an excellent thriller written by a young Swiss writer named Joël Dicker. And as you see, I won't tell you any more about the story because I can't. It would gâcher votre plaisir. Gâcher votre plaisir. The level you need to read this. The story is easy to follow. It's just like Ensemble C'est Tout by Anna Gavada. But it's a bit thick, but it's so good. It's well, what have you read and loved in French? Any books, comics, magazines, blogs? Share your favorites in the comments below the video and it can be like the Commune Francaise Book Club. Just there in the comments, the Commune Francaise Book Club. Oh. Share your experience in French if you dare in the comments below. We can all learn from your story. The comment section is the best place to start discussions and ask questions. If you like this video, share it with your friends on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest. Help me spread the word about Commune Française. Merci. Love France, dream of sounding French, even to the French learn how with me Géraldine on CommonFrancaise.com and subscribe to my email updates for exclusive tips on real life in France every Tuesday plus an exclusive video lesson Introduce yourself in French and it's free. Merci for watching Commune Française TV. Live in France, feel at home. Allez, salut! Literally the, sli <laughs> Literally the style of the hedgehog. I love this kind of elegant French.